police reform will be on President Biden's agenda when he speaks to a joint session of Congress this week. As he's approaching his first 100 days in office, our new ABC News Washington Post poll finds Biden's overall job approval at 52 percent. That's higher than Trump's 42 percent, but much lower than Obama's 69 percent and among the lowest for any president in their first 100 days since World War II. Biden receives high marks for his handling of the pandemic, and he prepares to lay out his next top priorities. Here's ABC's White House correspondent, Mary Alice Parks. Tonight, President Biden preparing to address a joint session of Congress, where he'll lay out the promises for his next 100 days in office and beyond. His big push now, that massive $2 trillion infrastructure plan. The president says it will create millions of jobs. It's a plan the majority of Americans support. But as the nation deals with a surge of mass shootings, advocates are pressing the White House to do more to curb gun violence. We actually, as an administration, have taken action. There is only so much, however, that a president can do through executive action. The administration calling on Congress to step up on gun reform and police reform. Lawmakers hopeful for a bipartisan compromise there. The president planning Wednesday to talk about the issue of police reform and racial justice. Today, Senator Lindsey Graham denying that there is systemic racism in policing. We just elected a two-term African-American president, so our systems are not racist. America is not a racist country. And the country divided on immigration as record numbers of migrants cross the southern border, overwhelming the federal government. Vice President Kamala Harris saying there is not a quick solution. Listen, if this were easy, it would have been handled years ago. Extreme weather conditions has had a huge impact on one of their biggest um, industries, which is agriculture. If parents and if children cannot literally eat, if they cannot have the basic essential things that everyone needs to live, of course they're going to flee, and that's what we're saying. Lindsay, Republicans this weekend as focused on the ideas for paying for the president's proposals as the proposals themselves, objecting to tax increases on corporations or high earners. But this week, a group of Republicans did send the White House a counter offer on infrastructure spending. So some negotiations are ongoing. Lindsay. Mary Alice reporting in from the White House for us. Thank you. And a programming note, ABC News will provide live coverage of President Biden's address to a joint session of Congress on Wednesday night. I'll join David Muir and our powerhouse political team beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.